Creating and Testing REST APIs Using Postman, Section 6. In this section, we're going to create REST APIs. Also, be installing Flask REST Plus extension along with the uh, program called Postman for testing our APIs. And we'll be creating and testing REST API CRUD operations using some HTTP verbs such as the post, get, put, and delete. These are very common HTTP verbs, and there are actually a few more, but we'll do these four, which are part of the CRUD operations. So before we start, we need to install Postman and this extension called Flask REST Plus. So Flask REST Plus is an extension that adds some very nice support for creating REST APIs, and it makes the our efforts so easy, so you'll see that in a minute. It is an extension that works with Python 2.7 or higher, and also works with PyPy and PyPy3 as well. It's very easy to set up and has very, very minimal setup features, provides a very good collection of decorators and tools to describe your APIs, and you can actually decorate classes and methods with that as well. And the good thing is you can have multiple endpoints added to the route decorator, which you can't do that with the a regular Flask uh, route. And finally, it also has a really good support for request data validation. And the Postman is a API development environment for testing APIs. It is very popular. It is also has a Chrome extension that you can embed directly into your browser. It is the most widely used REST client Why? so you can see important how popular this tool is. It allows you to do a lot of features including like some automatic testing with some collection runner. You can monitor your APIs and many others as well. So you can download for free here at this link here at getpostman.com and so let's go and download these two applications and let's get started with our API. Okay, so the first thing is let's download Postman. Now, again, there are two versions. One is for your web browser and one is a standalone application. So I highly recommend the standalone application. So if you go here to getpostman.com, on the home page here, just click on the Get Started. Then just download and install the version that matches your machine. Just click here, my window. So I download a 64 version. And I already installed it, so I'm not going to go through that again, but it takes only about like maybe one minute or two minutes to do it. Okay, so once you're done, then it does require you to register. It's a free account, or you can use your free Google account to join in as well. So we're done with this one here. I'm going to close that. Now, in the Visual Studio Code, we're going to go in here and install the uh, library, the uh, Flask REST Plus library. So let's go in here to the command prompt. And again, just make sure you are in the virtual environment. Okay. So if you are not sure if you have it or not, it, you can go into here it says, and type in pip list. And that should tell you if you have something called the Flask REST Plus. If you don't have it, then you don't have it. So here I don't have it. So we're just going to install that right here really quick. And very easy. Just do a pip install. Install Flask dash rest plus very simple like that just take it maybe a few seconds all right and once that's done then we are pretty much done with this one here and so we need to update our requirements file so let's do that before we forget so we're going to go here pip freeze and then requirements okay that's updated and we are good I think that's all. Now, there's another tool that if you really want to try out, it's called a HTTPy, which is kind of like an API a tester as well. As you can see, you can test your APIs using curl or and other tools, but HTTPy is another one that you can also use if you want. Okay, so I think that's it for this one here. And then we are good to go. And Postman is up and installed, so make sure you run that. You click on run and then if you're all set up then we are ready to go.